Hey, what's up, you guys? How's it going? It's me, Mario. Hope you're having a pretty good day. Not a super fragile, fragilistic expialidocious one that's kind of over-fucking-doing it, but, you know, just a pretty good one. I think that's a nice middle ground. Anyway, so today I decided to do more of a chill video. I felt like I needed to do something a little more laid back since YouTube is fucking blowing up with all kinds of cancer shit. I'm already way too stressed out on my last few weeks of school with final exams and fucking projects and shit. Right now, the last thing I want to do is focus on a cancerous fucking subject for a YouTube video. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, here's a few of the subjects I planned on making a video about. Anyway, so I decided to do a little throwback to what my channel used to mainly consist of, and that is crazy life stories. Because those just did amazing on this channel. Well, sometimes. But anyways, that's not the point. So today I thought I'd share a wonderful memory of mine that I just hold very dear to my heart, and that wonderful memory is about the time I got stung by a fucking scorpion. Or as my dad likes to call him, alacran, and sometimes a scorpion. Yeah, I'm not really sure why we have two different words for it in Spanish. Actually, I think I remember him trying to explain the differences. The alacran is usually darker and bigger, while the scorpion is lighter in color and usually a lot smaller. But fuck it, because in English you guys would call either one a scorpion. So anyways, all of this happened in Mexico before I ever came over here to the States. And when it comes to Mexico, I have very few memories, but the ones that I do remember, I remember for a good fucking reason. And that's usually because something fucked up happened, like burning my hand, sending a kid to the fucking hospital, getting attacked by my neighbor's dogs, and of course, getting stung by a scorpion. So the way this all starts out is, little three to four year old Mario is getting ready for his super fucking hyped sleepover with his older cousin. Like, you know when you're little and sleepovers are fucking hyped up as fuck? Like, yeah, we're gonna stay up and not sleep and watch TV and we're gonna eat late night cereal and then eventually fall asleep even though we said we weren't gonna fall asleep. Also, quick little side note, I'm pretty sure my parents were fucking lying to me about my cousin coming over for the sleepover because he was a good like five or more years older than me and when there's that much of a huge age gap, you don't like hanging out with little kids. Because I'm not going to lie, if that was me in that situation and I was forced to go to my younger cousin's sleepover, I'd be fucking pissed. But that's besides the point. So me being a fucking idiot and not wanting to sleep on my bed for the sleepover, I decided I wanted to sleep on the floor because, you know, four-year-old Mario logic. Like, am I the only one that ever did that at sleepovers? Because in my experience, whenever someone went to a sleepover, no one ever wanted to sleep on the bed. Everyone wanted a fucking sleeping bag on the floor for some fucking reason. I, I don't know. I swear to God, inside a little kid's mind, it's like you're camping outside in the wilderness, in the fucking forest, where it's dangerous, when in reality, you're just like a foot away from your bed. Anyways, going back to the story, I didn't actually have a sleeping bag, so my dad got a bunch of covers and sort of just layered them on top of each other on the floor. And this, of course, leaves me in very reachable range for anything crawling on the floor. You know, come to think of it, maybe that's why I don't like sleeping on the floor now. It's like I always feel like a fucking roach is going to crawl in my fucking ear. Or a spider is going to bite me or some shit. But little did four-year-old Mario know that a fucking scorpion was about to fuck his shit up. Because in Mexico, it's pretty normal to find a fucking scorpion on your bathroom wall or some shit. My uncle went to Mexico a few years back because I guess he got tired of the US. And when he came back, that's literally what he told me. For some fucking reason, most of the doors have just enough space between the floor and the bottom of the door. For something scorpion sized to squeeze through. Like, I made it so much easier for the fucking scorpion to find something to fucking sting. Now, when it came to actually getting stung, I don't remember the feeling of the pain. I just remember that I was in pain, if you know what I mean. So basically, I woke up screaming at the top of my vocal cords, and my parents freaked the fuck out, and after finally understanding what happened, they proceeded to drive me to the hospital. This is where things get a little bit interesting. I don't know if my body was in shock or something, because on the ride there, I didn't feel any pain and I actually felt pretty fucking normal. My parents, on the other hand, were still freaking the fuck out. My dad kept telling me to stay awake and drink lots of water and not to fall asleep. The only thing I saw as a possibility was me falling asleep because it was so goddamn late and me pissing myself from all the fucking water. So when we finally get to the hospital, the doctors do a couple tests on me or whatever, and they found out that my body wasn't actually reacting to the venom or poison from the scorpion. I guess I got stung by the kind that isn't too bad or harmful to humans. Or I may secretly be half scorpion, half human, and now have scorpion abilities that help me fight crime. By day, I'm known as Mario, the faggot that goes to college and makes YouTube videos. But by night, I'm known as Scorpion Man. Or Stinger Guy. I, I don't fucking know. But anyways, that's sort of how it ended. 
Let me know down below in the comments what you guys think if you've ever been stung by a scorpion or something similar. Please do make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed the video because when you drop a like on any one of my videos, you are always 100% guaranteed a blowjob from Piper Perry. I'm not fucking kidding. You like the video right fucking now or you won't get a blowjob. Also, make sure to subscribe if you're new for more shitty content. And before I let you guys go, I want to let you know about the first of my monthly giveaways that I'm starting. If you want to enter, simply go to the link in the description. Do some or all of the entries and make sure to keep an eye out for when I announce the winners. By the way guys, the prizes all consist of Steam games for PC. Some of the games are somewhat intense to run while some are not. But anyways, that's pretty much it guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you did enjoy the video. And yeah, take it easy. with a stupid grin. Which screws loose, where do you begin? A comma dude and then tell him a boom in the moon. I'm from the window of the loony bin, he's fuming. Cause I'm really being rude again. I ruin my connection to my human cannon. So I'm moving into the kennel. Settled down with the goof troop snooping. It's juice and gin. Took my Tylenol and took a violent fall. When I tried to crawl up the asylum wall. Watsky's to the...